actress Tanya Roberts has passed away at the age of 65. Apparently, Tanya collapsed at her home following a walk with her dogs on Christmas Eve. She was hospitalized and never recovered. At this point, there is no official cause of death. Being an avid TV and movie fan, I have a ton of memories about this wonderful lady that I'd love to share. When Charlie's Angels dumped Shelley Hack for Tanya during the show's fifth and final season, I was rooting for that show to rebound in the ratings. Roberts brought a sense of fun back to the show that had been missing for a year or so. There was something about her, something that made us all realize that she didn't take herself too darn seriously. Unfortunately, People Magazine was right. At that point, the role was a bit jinxed, and Julie Rogers, well, she only worked for Charles Townsend's detective agency for a single season. Fortunately for us, it wasn't the last we would see of Tanya. She mesmerized Mark Singer and audiences in Don Coscarelli's classic flick and late 80s home box office staple, The Beastmaster. She then parlayed that role into another jungle fantasy adventure flick, Sheena and start alongside Roger Moore in his final turn as Agent 007 James Bond in A View to a Kill. By the mid-80s, it seemed like Tanya really was on the fast track and superstardom was inevitable. And one of her biggest and most recognizable roles was on That 70s Show, where she starred as Donna's mother, Midge. On That 70s Show, Roberts was able to showcase the comedic talent that we had witnessed so long ago on Charlie's Angels. She truly was one of the standouts on that series. Simply put, she made every scene that she was in better. One last pick, this time from the movie Sheena. What a truly beautiful woman. Tanya's contribution to the world of television and movie entertainment will never be forgotten, and she will truly be missed. All right, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section, and while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And what the heck, why not subscribe to my channel? I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.